Hi, first grade. Um, so I want to, in th this video, explain um, what this worksheet is right here, okay? This is um, a blank staff paper, okay? We've been talking about the staff. That's where all the lines and spaces are for the music notes and everything. Um, what I want you to do this week is I want you to write your own music, okay? Um, what I want you to do is I want you to write four measures, okay with four beats in each me measure okay and i'm going to show you how to do that we have done this in class before just in case you forgot okay um so what you can do in this is what i want you to do is i want you to only use quarter notes okay make it very very simple okay just use quarter notes because a quarter note is one beat each okay and you can use your information page again to help you for what notes you want to use and everything okay so i'm going to um kind of have an example down here okay and I did learn how to write on this, okay? So um, again, it can be whatever pitches you want it to be, but make them all quarter notes, okay? So four quarter notes in each measure, all right? So let's say in this measure, I wanna start on the note E, the, the line note, okay, the first line. So I'm going to put an E right here, okay? All right, and there's my E, okay? Um, now again, um, four quarter notes does not all need to be the same note, okay? I want you to use different notes, all right? So maybe the next one I want to use is F, okay? So I'm going to write another, I'm going to write an F right here, okay? And draw a line, and there's my F quarter note, okay? Um, and I'm going to keep on doing that, okay? I'm just going to keep on drawing some, oop. Now this one, actually, I want to show you guys. This is what I was going to tell you in a minute, okay? You see how this note I drew here is kind of touching down here and up there? We talked about this in class. You want to be very clear with where your notes are, okay? So that way you can tell if it's on a line or if it's on a space. This one, I mean, I guess you could kind of say it's on the G line right there, but it's also touching the line down here, which makes it almost look like it's on the F space, okay? And it's almost kind of touching the line up here too, which also makes it almost look like it's on the A space, okay? And we don't want that. That's very confusing, okay? So I'm actually going to delete that, <laughs> all right? And I'm going to draw a different one, all right? So I'm going to write A, G, and there we go. That looks a little bit more clear. All right. Oh, apparently I didn't draw that very well. Well, this is also on a computer, so hopefully you guys can draw a little bit better than I can on the computer, okay? And maybe the next one I want to go back down to F again. So I'm going to draw another F down here. Ooh, why did it do that? Oh, please don't do that. Let's try that again. All right. Draw another F. There we go. Oh. Mrs. Albrecht is having a little bit of difficulties with this. All right. There we go. All right. And that is one measure. Okay. Now, again, this is supposed to be a G right there. So I'm sorry. All right. That one's supposed to look like these. All right. So what this would sound like is. Okay. E, F, G, F. All right. And then um, my next measure, I can do something different. Maybe I want to draw. And if I want to start on the C. Okay, um, so I'm going to draw a line here, and then I'm going to fill in my circle, okay, like that, and that one I would even say is a little bit too big for what I want, okay, um, because you see how it's a little bigger than that, so make sure you're not drawing them too big either, okay, um, and then maybe I want to draw a D next, okay, so I'm going to fill in the D quarter note. All right, and then maybe I want to do another E. Okay. And then maybe up to an F. Okay, so we have an F right there. Okay, and that is another measure. Okay, so now what this measure sounds like is. And if I play both these measures together, this is what it would sound like. Okay, so I'm going to draw uh, two more measures here really quick on quarter notes, all right? I'll try to make them a little bit smaller than uh, these quarter notes right here. Again, those are a little bit too big for what I'd want, all right? So let me see. I'm going to draw a G. Oh, let's not do that. Wait. All 
There we go. And an A. Okay. There we go. Maybe a G again. And then maybe a B. Okay, and remember how that B right there, the stem is going down, and that's because the B is in the middle of the staff, okay? So anytime um, any of the notes go higher than that B, the stem is going to be facing down. If it's lower than B, it's going, the stem is going to be going up, like the G right here, okay? All right, and then maybe I want to do a C right here. All right, and then a B again. And what I could also do if I really wanted to is I could repeat notes. Maybe I want to do another B. Okay, but don't repeat notes too much. Otherwise, it won't. It'll sound a little uh, not creative. <laughs> and then we'll end on a C. All right. So that is four measures with four beats in each measure as different notes, okay? And this is what the whole thing would sound like, all right? So starting at the very beginning right here. All right, now I just made that up. Okay, I just made that up as I was as I was talking to you guys right now. Okay, so you guys can make it as simple as you want it to, um, but that's what I want. I want four beats in each measure. Okay, just use quarter notes. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, um, you can use half notes, which are two beats per note. Okay, so that would be like kind of having two half notes in a measure or two half notes and two quarter notes would make up four. Okay, um, you can do that as well if you really want to. Okay, and you can make it as simple as you want it to. And on top of that, I want you to take a picture of your music and send it to me and I'll put my email in on this post. Okay. And, um, I want, and I'm going to play it for you. Okay. I'll take, I'll take a video and I'll play it for you. And then if you want to, I can also post it, um, send it to your teacher and they can post it on Google classroom or on Facebook. If you want to, if you don't want to, just let me know and that's okay. But if you want, um, your teachers to put that video that I, of the song that you wrote, I can say, hey, this is what this student wrote, and I'm going to play it, and then everyone else can hear what you, uh, what you wrote, okay? And again, you don't have to do that, but if you want to, I would really love, uh, I'm sure everyone else would love to hear that. All right, guys, well, thank you so much. I miss you. Bye.